This time on Mike Peter's Amazing World of Toys, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Playmobil James Bond Aston Martin DB5 Goldfinger Edition. There it is. And it's going to be a little bit different from other unboxings maybe that you've seen and definitely one that I've done because, um, believe it or not, after 50 years, this is my first ever um, Playmobil set. Yeah, it's quite amazing. And there is a, there's a reason <laughs> behind it. I realise now there's a reason behind it. But before we get into that, let's have a quick look at uh, the box. It's a really interesting box. It's a really impressive box as well. Um, it's, yeah, a really a lovely toy um, so far. The box, let's have a look. Now, um, obviously, I'm when I'm talking about this toy, I'm, I'm saying it uh, a little bit timidly, only because, um, yeah, I, I'm saying that because um, I have, obviously, have a, 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 a long history with Lego, and I feel confident to talk about Lego because, you know, I've been building Lego for <laughs> 54 years, nearly. <laughs> and so this is a toy that's been around since 1974, Playmobil. Um, and yet this is my only my first, you know, ever experience of it as a toy. Now, I, I um, only bought this because, for well, for a couple of reasons. I bought it, um, first of all, because um, I, I've already um, shown this, that I'm going to do a review of this uh, Aston Martin, uh, James Bond Aston Martin from Lego Speed Champions. Um, because once again, one of my other videos, I, I, I've done a review of the Corgi James Bond Aston Martin, which, you know, is famous. And because of that, I, I saw that Playmobil had released this toy. And then I, I'd realised, well, they're quite an established toy company. And I don't know anything about them. And and it was about probably about time I learned. And then, lo and behold serendipitously <laughs> um amazon had a sale and this was 50 percent off so i couldn't really you know it was my perfect ex opportunity um so let's um have a look at the box now i've talked enough about this let's have a quick look at the box so there's the beautiful aston martin db5 on the cover and ha having a look at that and knowing you know having um seen some of the reviews um online um i'm now i can see as i have it in front of me yeah it is a really a, a lovely rendition of the james bond aston martin db5 now it says that there are um 54 pieces so there's some limited building i think in, involved um and so uh we get some characters in here as well we get james bond goldfinger odd job and a henchman now the henchman's going to be important and you will see later and when we dig into its playability uh, let's just have a look on the other side of the box see what we have to uh see what we have to uh enjoy there um and yes there's features there we can see there's machine guns and uh, coming out with the overriders there at the front as we're used to rotating number plates tire slashers bulletproof screen um, oh, there's the machine guns there. These are the Overrider Rams at the front there. Uh, your machine guns. And everybody's favourite, the ejector seat. So that's what you need the henchman for, <laughs> to fire out of the ejector seat. Um, so, yeah, you can see why it's um, um, a double... Uh, sorry, um, an expensive toy, because it's a, it has a double licence. It's Aston Martin and 007 James Bond. Um, but, yes, let's... Um, Let's uh, open up the box and uh, and have a look and see what joys are inside. Oh my goodness. So I was not expecting that when I opened up the box. Um, so we have uh, a booklet that comes with it. Our four characters that we get with the set. And the Aston Martin DB5. And I can see already that the uh, wing mirrors are missing. Um, 
so that's obviously going to be some of the construction that needs doing so let's just yeah let me, i just wanted to um quickly talk about play mobile i noticed on the side of the box it tells me that i should pronounce it play mobile um it's tricky that one I, I suppose i really should call it what the company would like me to call it but i just say mobile because when i say when i see mo yeah um mobile it, it doesn't come to me really um i just see mobile anyway um uh so anyway um when this was launched uh play mobile was launched in mobile was launched in 1974 um in England, and I was six years old, in England there was, there'd just been launched, I think, maybe the year before, a toy, an American toy, but it was built uh, under license in the UK. They were called Weebles, a Weeble Wobble, Weebles Wobble, but they don't fall down. And they were essentially a toy for preschoolers, um, but like toddlers, two, year, two to five, I think they were aimed at. Probably a great toy, but... Being a six-year-old, I thought of them as, you know, the worst thing for a six-year-old is to be thought of as a baby. You want to be grown up. You know, you never want to be... Oh, any child, they always want to be older. Anyway, so yeah, I thought of them as baby toys, the Weebles, which they were. But I thought of, as Playmobil, as the same thing. I thought of them as baby toys and they... And um, and so I didn't really ha I didn't really play with them. I was not ever really exposed to them and then when you know i i you, because they were different to lego then it's not the same as lego lego is a construction toy um although from uh you know a child development perspective they're open-ended toys lego and playmobil toys because i'd I'd done a little bit of investigation into them and their um their mission statement um is to provide um a, a toys that are um uh what, what not i'm sorry i can't i'm not quoting here but um they're props for children to play with and so they are usually um items that children would encounter in their everyday lives so um trash trash trucks um police cars fire trucks um with all of the crew that goes with those so that children can um, use them as props for their play and that is absolutely an, an amazing mission statement i think and uh, uh but saying that um the toys that they made um the fire truck for instance if i wanted a fire truck um i would either make one with lego have a lego one you know you could buy a lego one or ma i would make one with the parts that i had from lego or i would use uh, uh you know a pre-made le a fire truck that looked like a real fire truck whereas the playmobil ones they looked they kind of like look toyish and that's kind of made me think of them as babyish again now there certainly weren't any as far as i know at, at the time there weren't kind of to, um, film cut um vehicle tie-ins with playmobil so they were very much in their playmobil worlds not in the kind of world of james bond and things like that so they've, this is uh, an area that they've obviously gotten into now um but i'm looking at this on face value it looks like they've doing they're doing a really good job so i now i will get it out of the box and uh and uh and play with it too and, and have a look at it and, and and um yeah we'll do that now um so i'll just get out of the box okay so it's out of the box and um before we go any further, I just wanted to, to first of all, <laughs> say it's a real quality toy. Um, yeah, ab absolutely amazing. And I haven't even, you know, taken the bags. There's, so there's four numbered bags um, with all the uh, uh, extra pieces to add to the car. Um, there's some stickers um, and there's uh, hats and accoutrements to go with the uh bits and bobs to go with the characters so there's a pair of binoculars for for mr goldfinger now inside the uh the booklet that comes with it i'll try and make sure i don't get too many reflections uh, which is the same as the cover of, uh, of the box on the back cover of this is a beautiful shot of mr bond with his uh with the db5 um 
<laughs> Isn't that great? Um, and then in Strat, there's, uh, cat, there's um, for each of the characters, a uh, little bio there. And then there's, um, it tells you the features of the toy. And then there's um, instructions on how to put it all together. Now, um, I'm not going to assemble it um, in front of you. The main reason being that, you know, as you know, this is my very first Playmobil. And I want to uh, indulge my um, inner child in private. So I won't be sharing that on video, but I'll put it all together. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have a, a, a final summing up. Um, but right now, as it's going on, I'm very, very, very impressed. Extremely impressed with it, as, as, as just as a toy, let alone as a, a James Bond Aston Martin DB5, just for a toy car. It's very, very impressive. So I'm going to put it together now, and um, we'll finish up this video. Okay, sorry, I had to just um, share this with you. Um, how about this? as you're putting together the toys. Oh, that didn't make a snap, but wait, there's a, to there's a sound that this makes. It's so incredibly satisfying. <laughs> Listen to this. Oh, that just feels right, doesn't it? <laughs> Sounds right, I mean, but in your hand. Okay, so, I'm sorry, I'm almost lost for words. <laughs> it's only because it's my first ever Playmobil, but, yeah, it's got like these soft rubber tires that um, they are tricky to put on. Um, for a, um, I think uh, the I have to double check on the box. The age is I think is it five to ninety nine or to four to ninety nine or whatever it is. Let me double check on the box. But yeah, now five to ninety nine the age group so it, it could be a little bit tricky for some for, for smaller fingers i'll it's definitely tricky for 55 year old arthritic -y fingers <laughs> so but the tires once they're on beautiful and um yeah boo to some manufacturers and i won't be naming any names but look no seam no seam on the tire that's beautiful isn't it yeah real quality here folks um at Playmobil. I'm incredibly impressed. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, yeah, I, I, sorry, I'm, I'm just was unboxing them. So I've put the the, the figures together with with the, um, all their um, extra pieces, the hats and binoculars and um, little overshoes there for the henchman. Um, so yeah, so I'm still putting it together and thoroughly enjoying it. But I had to just share that click of that. Um, of that piece going into the tire I'll, I'll share another one for you it reminded me of um yeah it just reminded me of when you're putting together a toy like that under the click um here we go wait ready oh. <laughs> sorry <laughs> just it's just so incredibly enjoyable <laughs> thank you playmobile little little pleasures i guess but yeah you 55 years of building toys and playing with toys is you you, you grab you grab your pleasures while you can no i'm joking it's it's really it's fantastic here we go last one ready oh that's beautiful isn't it that's just such a satisfying click click it just feels really good going together there's no doubt that you've got it right and then you've got to put in the uh tire slashers so let's try those now Oh, that's nice. I'm feeling that going in. That's does that as you put it in, you can fit. Yeah, you feel that it's it's going to go in, but it's never coming out again. That's gone in permanently. Now that's and you can actually you know you you tell when you put it in that that's like that. Nice. Yes, very good. Okay, so um, I'll quickly um, switch off again now and um, get back to you when it is all finally put together. Sorry about that. I'm just. I had to share that noise clicking those tires together, but yeah, it's it's going together beautifully. What a lovely toy. Okay, see you in a minute. So there's the finished thing. The finished beautiful car. And isn't it stunning? Yes, I've uh, had some time to uh, put it together and, uh, you know, have a look at the features. And uh, yeah, it's 
really, really well made. It's a really, really lovely toy. Um, so let's go through the features then. We went and had a look at the pictures in the box. So it has tyre slashers. The tyre slashers come out. And um, you remember when I was putting the uh, model together and I was getting so excited about the way that things were clicking when I, it was being constructed? Well, it's the same thing when you play with the features. It's, um, yeah, it's... Uh, Everything click. Did you hear that when it clicks back into place? You kind of know everything. It, it's where it should be. Uh, it's uh, same with the overriders on the bumpers. I'll pull those out so you can see those. Um, and look on the chrome on here. I just think it's really, really nicely done. Um, then the little machine guns. Now, I am not sure with the machine guns if the idea is is that um, you, you actually take the covers off every time. But f for me, that's not feasible. Um, it's just a little bit too fiddly. I may, may, maybe children could do it with small fingers. But actually, you can see them through. I think that's probably more of the idea that you, you can they're there. So you know that they're actually there. Which is quite clever because if that was just on there, you wouldn't really know that the machine guns are there. So I think maybe that, that that's possibly it. Um, then the revolving number plates, same thing again. There's such a lovely feel with them. They're just, yeah, you can tell it's it's made in Germany, this toy. <laughs> Did you hear that sound? Yeah, everything just works, um, you know, as it, uh, that's just, it's just perfection, isn't it? That click. It's like the closing of a car door, you know, that clunk you get. Everything just clicks back where it should. It's just it's just a great toy. It's so beautifully made, so well made. I mean, all I had to do was assemble it, you know, stick the bits and pieces together. Um, not difficult at all. Put these stickers on um, and that was it. Everything else is already pre-applied. Um, and then we have the uh, bulletproof screen, which I think is a really nice feature that they've put little bullet dings in there. So it's driving along. Pew, pew, pew. They're ricocheting off. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Um, these are a nice feature um, I was looking at those as I was putting them on so there are a blank space behind and then these are little clear uh, sorry the little colored pieces of uh, plastic but they're um, light would shine through them they're translucent and so if you wanted to you could possibly you know install some kind of light behind there I'm sure it's possible um, but you know just as a toy let's not talk about upgrading it it's not needed because, you know, as a toy, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, so, you know, everybody's going to want to see the, you know, the ultimate feature. So let me just uh, put uh, the henchman back in there. And then once we've, uh, well, actually, before we do that, what I'll do is, um, now I'm putting him, I'm just making sure he's, he's, he's in position because I want it to launch perfectly. Because, you know, it's not a surprise. We all know what's coming next. So I'll just take the roof off just so that we can see inside. Um, because it's actually, I was looking at it, it's actually really well designed. Um, I understand now that it's a common feature, probably on all the vehicles, I, I, I can't say for sure, that the bottom of the steering wheel has a little cutout so that the, the Playmobil person's legs fit underneath. So James Bond's legs are fitting underneath. Um, but I noticed on the steering wheel too, it has the... Uh, it has the uh, the same design as the the real DB5 on the spoke on the spokes on the steering wheel. There's little cutouts on the spokes in the steering wheel. Nice touch. Then you have the uh, the tracking screen that Bond uses to track the uh, track cars with the. Oh, sorry, it's not in focus. There it is. Little tracking screen down there, and on top of the gear lever or the gear shifter is the red button, and we all know what that does. Yeah, really lovely interior to the, to the car as well. Um, everybody fits inside there um, perfectly, and the henchman doesn't have a clue what's going to happen. Um, the roof fits on there, and, you know, like everything else, it just clicks into position. You don't have to force it. Everything fits as it should. Now, uh, you've got to remember that this is advertised on the box from 5 to 99, so... A five-year-old is expected to be able to do that. And I, you know, probably they could do that. That's not too 
wouldn't be too trying. Um, whether a five-year-old would be able to apply the stickers, they may need some help with that and actually just assembling some of the uh, structure of the car. As the child matures, definitely, you know, an eight-year-old, I think, would be able to do this no problem. Or a child who's, who's used to assembling toys uh, would have no problem with it. So, yeah, that's great. Um, so, yeah, I'm sorry I'm trying to uh, put it off for as long as I can. But, uh, yeah, um, let's uh, push the, uh, the button to uh, launch the henchman with the ejector seat. Now, I think what I will do is I'll pull it out as far as I can, the shot... Let's just get that. I want to get the, uh, I want to get the, um, there we go. So that you can see the full section come out when it gets launched. Okay, so three, two, one. So there you have it. The uh, the feature that everybody really wants, and I sorry I put it into slow motion the best I could, and, and replayed it a few times so you could see it there. But yeah, that's really what everybody wants this car for, and yeah, it's got it. It does it beautifully. There's the henchman laying injured in the road. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's just superb. Uh, what a, an amazing time! Just lost for words. So yeah, <laughs> that's the feature. So there we have it, the uh, James Bond Aston Martin DB5 from Playmobil. Can I recommend it as a toy? Absolutely. Um, it's a premium price toy at full price. As I said, I got mine at discounted, 50% off. Um, so definitely wouldn't hesitate to give this to any child. They would absolutely love it. Um, uh, a proviso, maybe, um, it would be fun, is to sit down and watch the film with the, with the children first. So they get an idea um, of of what the car uh, of the car's place in history or of where of where it is in the world, because the whole thing with Playmobil is that um, the, the the characters are used to to uh, to enact things that happen in you know the the, the real world. Uh, so in P Playmobil, normally you have real world uh, trucks and, and 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 aircraft and and helicopters and things. Well. You know, it's the same thing. So put it in context for the children. Watch the movie with them. And I say with them because, you know, it's a PG, parental guidance. Um, so, uh, yeah, you watch it with the children so they can see the features. And when they see the features in the film, they're all in the car, in the toy. Oh, it's superb. Yeah, I can't say enough. So, yes, have fun. Keep collecting. Uh, subscribe, um, comment, and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye.